So you lived your life peacefully, and then all of a sudden you started stumbling upon information about oil pooling. And uh, the range of information, of course, is, is usual. That this is some generic procedure that might not that might do some good for you, but might not. To this is the most miraculous, the most potent procedure in the world. So everyone must be doing oil pooling, and we will heal the humanity. So he, somewhere even in the middle ground, you probably got inspired to try this. And you even probably probably purchased a jar of coconut oil, but whenever you open this jar and think that maybe this is the day when I will actually start oil pulling, because in theory it's, it sounds really great, you open it, you sniff it, and you're like, oh, come on, I'm not doing this, it smells terrible, it's from some substance from the underworld, I'm not putting it in my mouth, I'm not swishing it for 10 to 20 minutes, no, no, no. But... But there is a way out. If you think that there are some people who can do this peacefully and enjoy it, they do exist and they do enjoy it. But as today I will teach you how to actually learn to enjoy procedure of oil pulling. So, uh, first tip, of course, is very trivial. When, you, when you're just starting, everything that I will show, you can get rid of those rituals associated with oil pulling later on when you get into the habit. But today we are learning to actually do this, to start incorporating it as a habit. We are learning to make it our habit. First is a very trivial tip. Start small. Instead of reading the instructions that are like A big heaping tablespoon of coconut oil and water in your mouth. This is a daunting task for anyone who has not practiced this. Even for me now, who does oil pulling every day, this is a daunting task. I will not be putting heaping tablespoon in my mouth. Start small, take a teaspoon, and put a third of it. Just get acquainted with the sensation, with the flavor, when there is a small dosage of it. And then increase the dose gradually to, to, to your liking, basically. This is a very trivial step. So start small and then gradually increase the dose. But the actual the juice of my method that will help you to develop liking oil pulling is the method of diverging the senses. You know how in some like meditation practices you can selectively focus on some aspects of your body, of some thoughts, of breathing processes. So we will do the same, but we will assist our body because the sensations of putting the oil in our mouth are very strong and intense to get distracted natively. We need some assistance, equivalent in strength. So the first approach to divergence of the senses is to use some natural minty mouthwash. What I did in the very beginning when I started oil pulling, I swished this for like five seconds and this is the mouthwash that contains water, glycerin, polysorbate 80, and then below that, there are just plant extracts and essential oils. Important thing is that it contains mint and some like potent, bright, fla brightly flavored essential oils. So these things, first of all, they distract, distract your sensations because mint is cooling. Second of all, it kind of pacifies your uh, smell receptors in the nose because you know we feel the flavor through the nose flavor of things so you feel the taste the flavor of this minty fragrant thing and your mouth kind of feels a little bit cold so you do this and then after you swished it in your mouth you put coconut oil after you spit it up you put coconut oil and for a while you will be feeling the sensations and the taste of this mouthwash. So this is a real magical thing that helps to handle coconut oil. So you will start... The coconut oil is, becomes very benign as soon as it blends in with the saliva. So that's when its concentration drops and when it becomes much easier to do oil pulling. But at first, when you just put it in your mouth, you feel the maximum of its flavor, its texture, it's hard. So we need to overcome this. This is my first tip. Here, important note, do not use anything with aggressive antiseptics. This is a, make sure that you're using very natural things. So this Desert Essence is my favorite. I'm not like uh, promoting it in any commercial way, but um, I'm just saying because it's like the best thing I could find in the store. <clears throat> Second tip is 
for diverging the senses is using essential oils. Here I have pretty benign ones, rosemary and bergamot. You can choose any to your liking. What we do before you put oil in your mouth, instead of, I mean, not essential oil, but coconut oil in your mouth, you do the following. You sniff the essential oils. Make sure to choose the ones that you don't have allergy or any acute reaction. Choose some safe, benign oils, such as citrus oils, lavender oil, no, again, aromatic herbs. You sniff it with both, both of your nostrils. You sniff it, sniff it, sniff it. Essential oil will, again, will pacify your receptors. And as you're sniffing, you are putting the oil in your mouth. And you focus on the fragrance of the essential oils. This, again, is a very trivial method that all meditating people use, but we actually deal with real-world chemistry. And you keep sniffing until you get comfortable with the oil in your mouth. And uh, again, as soon as it blends in with your saliva, it's much more mild. And you can stop sniffing the essential oil in that, in that mo at that moment, starting from that moment onward. And uh, here is another tip. Let the oil sit in your mouth still at first. You don't need to go with vigorous swishing right away. If you're using any of these techniques, just let the oil melt. And again, this method with essential oils can be combined with the mouthwash method. So you can use either or and whatever you prefer. So yeah, let the oil sit at first until it melts, until it blends with saliva. Uh, this is the supplementary tip to that. Then, another tip is experiment what you like better. Do you like oil when it's solid and it melts in your mouth, or you like it liquefied? The difference will be the following. When you use solid oil, you put it like a candy in your mouth, and you let it melt there. And this does not soil your lips, it does not give you this oily sensation, so you won't feel the oily aspect necessarily of it. But, um, some people might find it difficult to feel it melting or something. However, melting, we melt chocolate in our mouth, it's a pretty native feeling for us. So I personally prefer solid forms of oil because with liquid it gets messy. So you may choose to put oil in the fridge for a little bit before using it if you live in the cold climate or in the hot climate, sorry and the opt for using the solid form. Or if you prefer liquid form, then okay, put it in warm water if it's cold or use it as is in liquid form. Uh, this is another tip. Then another thing to look at, there are two kinds of coconut oil. You see, this one is refined, this is non-refined oil. And uh, they are different. Unrefined oil has more of coconut flavor. Refined oil has less of that characteristic coconut flavor, but instead it has some a little bit chemical flavor that you may be sensitive to. So you should buy two of these, and if you have some you know, family members or whoever you can, like, or some applications which you can use this oil for if you don't like one or the other, then, or you can mix the two eventually, uh, you can play around with which kind you like better. Because I personally like unrefined oil. I'm more okay with the specific coconutty flavor than with that chemically flavor. Even though, okay, okay there is nothing chemically in refined oil. And then the texture of, refi of unrefined oil, I find it more natural, more easily assimilated with me. So I prefer unrefined oil for those reasons, over refined oil. Refined oil will be silkier, will be less chunky, will be more homogenized, and uh, so some people will prefer one over the other. So experiment with these two. And then another tip that I have for you, plan to do oil pulling on the moments started. When you have some errands to do around the house, for example, or when you have some specifically grooming showering routine planned out. So on the days when you do your hair, when you do your skin, when you do shaving, whatever you do with your body, whatever you prefer to do in the shower, plan to do it then. Combine it with oil pulling so you can still use those tips. And then you get distracted. 
So the key is to get distracted until you're able to accept this procedure and start focusing on it. Because when you focus on it, you start feeling, you start like putting your attention into this cleansing process that you're enduring while you are oil pulling. And uh, this will be your next step. But again, to start, get yourself distracted. Get yourself, where our goal again is just to get into habit of doing this. And then you can advance. You can get rid of this step. You can go without essential oils. You can go without anything and just focus purely on this procedure. However, in the beginning, we just need to not be repelled from this procedure. We need to, we need to start doing it every day. So anything will work. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope my tips were helpful for you. And um, please uh, like the video, subscribe to my channel. And uh, leave your comments and questions below. Maybe tell me about your experiences. Tell me and others because you know how we start the video and we go to the comment section. Share your experiences with oil pooling. What changes it uh, provided to you? Because I know anecdotal evidence that it actually can heal the beginning stages of cavities. Because again, coconut oil is a really powerful tool for targeted murder of the bacteria that cause cavity. There are other oils too. Actually, the bonus tip is uh, to use other oils. You can experiment as well because they have their own medicinal properties. But coconut oil is uh, probably my favorite. So write in the comments if you tried, what effects you had, how you enjoyed it, were able to make it your habit, how often do you do this, and uh, we will all read and enrich our knowledge base. Thank you and bye-bye!